An oven is a steel box that is closed in on five sides with a metal sheet and on one side with a door, with a window so we can see what is inside the oven, and a handle to open and close the door. The door has an electronic control panel which is used to tell the oven what to do. By opening the door, you access the cooking chamber, which has side supports where you can insert the trays. There is a drain for liquids at the bottom of the chamber, and at the top there is a rotor for the automatic washing system. At the back of the chamber there is a metal sheet called an air carter that separates the fans from the cooking area and that properly directs the airflow. The tube in the middle of this metal sheet conducts water to the fans to create steam. By removing this tube, you can see the fans. At the top left-hand side, there is a chimney through which the fumes generated during the cooking process are expelled. In an electric oven, the heat is produced by heating elements that heat up when electricity passes through them. In a gas oven, it is a bit more complex. The heating is produced by burning gas that warms the symmetrical heat exchangers. The fans send the air around the heat exchangers so that it can cook the food. Once the air has been heated, the fumes are expelled through the heat exchanger pipes to chimneys. As you observe the oven from above, you see the fan, the carter, the inner and outer windows, and the heating elements. The air is sucked in by the fan into the heating elements, or the heat exchanger tubes, if it is a gas oven. Then it enters each tray from the sides and moves back towards the fan. As it comes into contact with the food, it heats and cooks it, while the air itself cools down. Then the fan sucks in air again and the whole cycle starts over.